Premier, but also uh, President Biden and Prime Minister Modi as well, uh, for showing. Okay, those are images of the quad leaders who are in fact now in that room. That is of course the Australian Prime Minister speaking at the moment. You can also see US President Joe Biden as well as Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida and Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Remember earlier the quad summit was to happen in Australia but because of the certain quad reasons. Has been an essential component. My first act uh, one year ago tomorrow indeed uh, was uh, after being sworn in as Prime Minister was to fly to Tokyo uh, to represent Australia uh, in Japan at the second uh, Quad Leader Summit. And I will never forget the very warm and generous uh, welcome that I had uh, after my election. I can't think of any better way uh, to begin a prime ministership than a gathering of such important friends from our region. Uh, one year on, I'm absolutely delighted to be amongst close friends again here in Japan to continue our important work, standing together for an open, stable, secure and prosperous Indo-Pacific region, a region where sovereignty is respected and all countries, large and small, benefit from a regional balance that keeps the peace. Respect for the leadership of regional institutions including ASEAN, the Pacific Island Forum and the Indian Ocean Rim Association is central to our approach and our vision statement that we will release tonight sets out the principles for our engagement in the region. Through the Quad's positive practical agenda, we are taking action to address shared challenges. Together we are leveraging our collective strength. So thank you everyone for gathering and I will now uh, hand to Prime Minister Modi uh, for his opening comments. Your Excellencies. Prime Minister Albanese, Prime Minister Kishida, and President Biden. Albanese, Prime Minister Kishida, and Rashtrapati Biden. Aaj mitro ke beech is Quad Summit mein bhag lete huye mujhe prasannata hai. Quad Samu Indo-Pacific mein shanti, sthirta. और समृद्धि सुनिश्चित करने के लिए एक महत्वपूर्ण प्लेटफॉर्म के रूप में स्थापित हुई है इसमें कोई संदेह नहीं है कि इंडो पैसिफिक क्षेत्र में वैश्विक व्यापार इनोवेशन और विकास का इंजीन है हम एकमत हैं कि इंडो पैसिफिक की सुरक्षा और सफलता केवल एक क्षेत्र के लिए नहीं बल्कि पूरे विश्व के लिए महत्वपूर्ण है रचनात्मक एजेंडा के साथ साझा लोकतांत्रिक मूल्यों के आधार पर हम आगे बढ़ रहे हैं साझा प्रयासों से हम फ्री ओपन और इंक्लूसिव इंडो पैसिफिक के हमारे विजन को प्रैक्टिकल डायमेंशन दे रहे हैं क्लाइमेट एक्शन डिजास्टर मैनेजमेंट स्ट्रेटेजिक टेक्नोलॉजीज Reliable supply chain, health security, maritime security, counter-terrorism, जैसे महत्वपूर्ण क्षेत्रों में हमारा सकारात्मक सहयोग बढ़ रहा है। कई देश और समूह अपनी इंडो-पैसिफिक रणनीति और विजन की घोषणा कर रहे हैं। आज की हमारी बैठक में इस पूरे क्षेत्र के समावेशी और पीपल सेंट्रिक विकास के जुड़े विषयों पर चर्चा करने का अवसर मिलेगा मेरा मानना है कि क्वाड वैश्विक भलाई मानव कल्याण शांति और समृद्धि के लिए निरंतर प्रयास प्रयत्न करता रहेगा प्रधानमंत्री अल्बनीजी को इस समिति की सफल अध्यक्षता के लिए अभिनंदन और बधाई देता हूं 
2024 में क्वाड लीडर समिट का आयोजन भारत में करने में हमें खुशी होगी धन्यवाद Well thank you very much Prime Minister Modi I now turn to Prime Minister Kishida Hey え先ほど議長のアンソニーからありましたように、東京での首脳会合から一年が経過しました。Security environment has become even more severe. Free and open international order based on the rule of law is under threat. Other more so because we live under such harsh situation, it is meaningful that we get together to demonstrate to the world once again the solidarity of the Quad and our strong commitment to our common vision towards a free and open Indo-Pacific FOIP that we would like to drive the world towards an international community of cooperation and not of division and confrontation. Without striding together with regional countries, FOIP cannot be attained. We will listen to the voices of regional countries of the ASEAN, South Asia, and Pacific Island states to engage in practical cooperation which delivers true benefits to the region as a force for good. I hope today's discussion will give us another momentum to further spur our efforts. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Prime Minister Ji. And now I will ask the President of Biden to be able to do it. Thank you for accommodating the change of location, particularly you, Mr. Prime Minister. I uh, promise Albanese, especially for your impressive leadership of the Quad this year and your gracious flexibility in holding the meeting here uh, again in Japan. The, uh, you know, uh, while our setting today is different, then our, our mission remains the same, <clears throat> and that is to advance our vision of a free, open, secure, and prosperous in the Pacific, uh, and, uh, and to demonstrate the capacity of democracies to deliver, to deliver on a shared, in a shared region. I think people are going to look back at this, uh, the Quad, and uh, God willing, uh, 10, 20, 30 years from now, and say it changed the dynamic not only of the region but the world. And uh, while, uh, while the setting today is different, um, uh, you know, in our last two years, we made enormous progress, in my view. We're now launching a new initiative to keep that progress going, from projects to build secure telecommunications in the Pacific region, to strengthen our cooperation in submarine cables, uh, new joint efforts between our private sectors to invest in infrastructure and clean energy projects in the region. And I'm also proud that of the work we've done uh, with our partners, <coughs> the, uh, the ASEAN and Pacific Islands. As a matter of fact, I was with uh, one of our counterparts today at the larger meeting, and uh, he's part of the ASEAN uh, co countries, and he said, I think the Quad is a very good idea. Remember in the beginning, it was how it was going to be greeted. But, and so it, it's, it's a, it, I, I feel good. I think. Uh, a great deal of the future of our world is going to be written here in the Indo-Pacific. And uh, together, I think we're going to continue to assure that the future provides more opportunity, prosperity, and stability than anything else. So I want to thank you again for your strong partnership and friendship. And I apologize again for the change in plans, but thank you for accommodating this. And uh, I look forward to our conversations tonight. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, we will now move to a close. Mr. President, are you concerned about China's view of economic coercion against countries it does not like? Mr. President, are you concerned about China's use of arbitrary EU economic coercion against? Opportunity, prosperity, and stability. Then.
leaders who are meeting in Hiroshima. You heard from U.S. President Joe Biden, the Australian Prime Minister Anthony Albanese, as well as Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida and Prime Minister Narendra Modi, who said that India will be happy to host the Quad leaders for a meeting in India in 2024. So as far as foreign policy and diplomacy goes, these are very crucial years for India. India is, of course, president of uh, the G20, is uh, going to host the G20 summit in India. And next year, India will be hosting the quad leaders as well.